The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial when you're ready for that next home loan. Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Every day at this time, OBMMI, they provide the most comprehensive, accurate, and timely and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry calculated from actual lock rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transa- transactions nationwide. Interest rates locking yesterday. We do not have APRs, points paid, points received. We just have the interest rate number itself. 30-year conforming was up 6.504. The jumbo loan was up 6.559. The FHA loan was up 6.461. USDA loan was pretty flat. It was down just a, a real slight, slight amount, 6.451. And the 30-year VA loan, 6.188. All of them up again. The Let's look and see what's going on in the markets for you. So we've got the S&P 500 down 71.40. 10-year Treasury is down 16 basis points. Mortgage-backed securities, those are up 33 basis points. Remember, when the bond goes up, the rate goes down. What's driving all of this right now? Well, we got a number of numbers coming out. The biggies are coming out later in the week. But CoreLogic Home Price Insights reported the home prices rose 1.6% in March and are now up 3.1% year over year, down from 4.4% on tough comps. This comes after rising 0.8% in February. We are clearly at a turning point in the housing market. CoreLogic forecasts that home prices will rise again in April by 0.8%. Wow, 0.8%. That's that's great. Well, if you like, if you're in real estate, and rise by 4.6% over the next 12 months, which is an increase from 3.7 in the previous report. Selma Happ, chief economist for CoreLogic, said, quote, while housing markets across the country continue To send mixed signals, prices in many metros appear to have turned the corner with the U.S. recording a record, a second month of consecutive monthly gains at 1.6%. The month-over-month increase was twice the average seen between 2015 and 2020. Monthly inbound, or monthly rebound in home prices underscores the lack of inventory in this housing cycle. In addition, while the lack of affordability generally weighs on home price growth, Mobility resulting from remote working conditions appears to be a current driver of home prices in some areas of the country, unquote. Jolt's report, the job openings and labor turnover report, showed that there were 9.59 million job openings in March, which was well below expectations of 9.775 and dropped by 384,000 from the previous report. Job openings are now at a 23-month low. You've got to tell that one to the Fed. Leisure and hospitality, interestingly, increased by 79,000 job openings, which is the sector that has been providing the greatest or the biggest job gains of approximately 100,000 jobs per month. But this industry is still down over 350,000 job openings since the beginning of the year. Hmm. Layoffs and discharges increased by 248,000 to 1.8 million, highest number in 27 months. And the week that was used for the jobs report, that's showing a it was two hundred forty five thousand dollars. They used the initial jobless claims as part of that report. High figure right there. So we're looking for the jobs report coming out Friday. That's going to impact that jobs report. Tomorrow we get the ADP report. They're expecting about one hundred fifty thousand jobs created for the month of April. And on the BLS report on Friday, they're expecting one hundred eighty thousand jobs being created, uh, with unemployment rising from three point five to three point six. Biggest Big story in the market right now, obviously, is the debt ceiling. We're all watching that one closely as well. Why? Well, because the government has to pay their bills, and we're already watching the fact that the the, the president doesn't want to sit down and chat about it with the Speaker of the House. president just wants his way and doesn't realize the Speaker, the House of Representatives, has the power of the purse. So be aware, Mr. President, you may not get everything you want, but his president's got the bully pulpit. 
So that's where he gets his big benefit there. So he's out there. He'll come out and blame everything on the Republicans and the prior administration. And being that you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, you know the inflation is caused by too much spending in the government. Mm, Yeah, that's the current administration. The problem with our economy and the bank failures is is driven by the Federal Reserve. Hmm. The chairman was appointed reappointed. He was appointed initially by President Trump, re-upped with President Biden. So you can't blame that on the previous guy because you could have changed it if you wanted. Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call. 